Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Pokemon Leaf Green Redo. In the last part we took on the Viridian City Pokemon Gym, which is an Earth type gym. We battle all the trainers in the gym. Like Black Belts had fighting type Pokemon, and Tamers had some Tamers had poison type Pokemon, cool trainers had, you know, ground Pokemon for actually, you know, to match the gym type. And we also battled Giovanni, we got the Earth Badge. And by the way, I forgot to do it in the last part, but I'm gonna teach Earthquake to uh Giant Green like I was said I would, so do that right now actually. So team 26. There it is. Okay, cool. Let's teach it to um, Giant Green. Giant Green is the only one in my party who can actually learn it. So it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it's it's usually just to help like with, you know, um, fire type Pokemon really or something, you know. And just have something other than all grass type moves here. So what I decided to do, I'm going to give it a solar beam. Uh, I just don't really want to use I don't really need to use it for this to play through honestly. I don't think I've ever used it in this playthrough actually. Which is sad, but that's okay, because I wanted to do something. I guess Solar Beam to get rid of Vine Whip, but I, get, I didn't even use Solar Beam at, the, yeah, at all in this playthrough. As far as I know, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, we if we got Solar Beam and Machine Set. Venusaur, your giant green land Earthquake, yeah. So yeah, there's there's that, I guess. I have Trouble Cup from up front. We're going to take on the second to last rival battle. So let's take Matt on, or whoever you name your rival. In my case, Matt. What, Steven? What a surprise to see you here. So you're going to the Pokemon League? You collected all the gym badges too? That's cool. Then I'll whip you, Steven, as a warm-up for the Pokemon. As a warm-up for the Pokemon League. Come on! We'll see about that, Matt. I mean, like... You may have some Pokemon that are higher than my highest level Pokemon, which is level 47. My Mimean. But I can still take you. So this Pidgeot, right off the bat, is level 47. Okay. Let's go for the Thunderbolt on this thing. I'm faster than it somehow, that's kind of surprising. I don't really think Tropicuff is that fast. I, don't, I think a Pidgeot would have outspeed a Tropicuff to be honest, you know? So you can use Feather Dance, which I forget what, it lowers a stat, but I forget which stat. Attack, okay. Look, okay, I'm using Special Attacking Move right now. A Special Attacking Move. Okay, it's gonna use Wing Attack, you know, Tropicuff holds on, didn't do that much. This should take out the Pidgeot, so I'm gonna two shot this Pidgeot, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, being three levels below it, jeez. I mean, I guess the type of advantage on a move, you know? Okay, um, yeah, Trouble Cup level 45, cool. Okay, he's gonna send out Rhyhorn next. Let's go to, uh, just Giant Green, I guess, why not? Is this a Rhyhorn like a level 50 like Giovanni's was, or the second one he had was level 50? This one's level 45, the first, just like the first Rhyhorn he sent out for Giovanni's team. So yeah, that matches the type, the level at least. Let's go for the Razor Leaf. It hits, that's, that's, so that's good. Giant Green is one level ahead of this Rhyhorn, so that's cool. It one-shot the Rhyhorn, which is nice. It's level 45 male, but it goes down. 1,300 experience points. Alkazam is next. Okay, let's go to... I was thinking we can go to Trouble Cup, because Trouble Cup is Shadow Ball. But, uh... I don't know. This thing... Oh, I forget he also has his Gyarados, too. Which also, um, Starman also has Thunderbolt, so... I guess it's not too big of a problem. Let's go for the Shadow Ball. Let's get a Psychic on us. No, this Alkazam is level 47 male. Let's get a okay, yeah, it's almost fainted. Trouble Cough, really. And, oh man, Critical Hit, awesome. We took out the Alkazam because it's super effective because Ghost Type Pokemon are super, Ghost Type moves are super effective against Psychic type in this game. Like they've always been, really. Let's go, for, okay, it's about to just execute. So let's go to um, Firefox, I guess. That's awesome. We're having pretty good luck with this fight so far. Half his team is gone. I fainted half his team. He hasn't fainted one of my Pokemon yet. Let's go for the Flamethrower, because I think I don't want Fire Boss to miss, you know? Giving an opportunity to, like, try to attack. Hopefully we can one-shot this Execute at so 45 male. And it goes down. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so now he has a Gyarados. Let's go to, um... Let's go to Starman, I guess. See if he... See if Starman can, uh... Take out this... Gyarados with this Thunderbolt. So all he has left is his Gyarados and his Charizard, really. So Intimidate will lower cut Summon's attack. Good thing, again, uh, Thunderbolt's special. So, yeah. It's level 45, so Starman is level 1 level ahead of it, so that's awesome. When he kills it, awesome, because it's 4 times weak dodge type moves. And all he has left is his Charizard. Awesome. This is going pretty swell so far. 
Okay, here's a choice art. Here's, oh, it's level 53. It's six levels higher than my highest level Pokemon, my Mime, who's level 47, as I said before. But let's try to surf on this thing, do some heavy damage on this thing, hopefully. Yeah, it's level 53. Jeez. Oh, critical hit. Nice. One shot did it. We had an easy time with the battle just because the critical hits came in at the right time. It's awesome. We fair level bat. What? I was just careless, you. I was just lucky, I guess. Thanks for the $19.08. Okay, that loosened me up. Oh, that loosened you up? What about loosening me up? I just got very lucky, which I'll take it. I'll take the win. I'm ready for the Pokemon League. Steven, you need more practice. Hey, but hey, I'm, th uh, you know that I'm out here smell ya. That's the opposite way to the Pokemon Center. Okay, whatever, Matt. I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and heal because I'm smart. He, he technically whited out, so you know. I'll be right back, you guys. Okay, so if I look at my Pokemon right here, um, yeah. Let's see. The Victory Road has like a bunch of rock and ground type Pokemon. Or, you know, like Geodudes and Gravoids, I guess. Maybe Gravoids. Um, Onyxes, I know for sure. And, uh, Sand Slash is probably, yeah. If you're playing with Green, I think it's Sand Slash. If you're playing Fire Red, it's Arbox. So. Um, I'll put, uh, I'll put Starman up front, I guess, for this. And let's go to the Pokemon League. Let's actually surf instead of going over to Tallgrass. So let's use Starman to surf. There we go. And right here, the Pokemon League front gate. Okay, cool. Let's go in. Now, if you come here, if you came here before without all the gym badges, you're going to have to be sent back. You have to make, you have to walk all the way back and surf all the way back, depending on how far you got with those badges. But, uh, you just, they're just checking to make sure you have all eight badges. Oh, that's the border badge. Go right ahead. Okay. So there's one. This is cool music. I love this music. Here's about 23. You can pass here only if you have the Cascade badge. Oh, that's Cascade badge. Okay. If I, okay, then please go right ahead. Okay, cool. Thanks. You also need Surf to get to the Pokemon, Victory Red, I should say, and the Pokemon League. Um, you can only pass if you have the Thunder Badge. Oh, that's the Thunder Badge. Yeah, thanks. Okay, then please go right ahead. Okay. Is this a berry over here? Yes, it is. It's a Wuppet Berry. I think that heals, I think that heals, um, PP. There's a berry I forgot to look up in the last part, I think, that, not a berry, I think it was a Wuppet Berry. It's like in a powder, it's a powder. You can grind it up as, into powder as an ingredient for medicine, okay. So yeah, love berries. Um, yeah, it gives uh, 10 PP. Nice. That could be helpful if you run that PP in the Pokemon League Challenge in the week four. But I don't think I will. But you never know. Okay, here's the next check. Um, this is uh, for the Rainbow Badge. You can only pass here only if you have the Rainbow Badge. Oh, that's the Rainbow Badge. Okay, then go. Please go right ahead. Cool. I'm gonna put a repel on because I don't think I have a repel on there that's not even lingering anymore, so I might as well put another repel on. So we have 30 of them, cool, yeah, 30 now, cool. So yeah, here's the way you need to surf on, obviously. Here, you can only pass here if you can only you can pass here only if you have the soul badge. Oh, that's the soul badge. Um, okay, then please go right ahead. And by the way, I should show, show off my train case actually. We have all the badges right here. They look pretty cool. I like the look at the Kanto Gym badges. Our time is 31 hours and 2 minutes right now. Cool. That's awesome. And our Pokedex is 34 right now. Nice. So yeah. I guess there's this little um, sand so you can go fishing. But you can also go fishing while you're on seven on Pokemon. Which is pretty cool. You can pass only if you have a Marsh Badge. Okay, that's the Marsh Badge. I think I messed with the first part of that dog. Okay, then please go right ahead. Cool. And then here's the one for the Cinnabar. Like, I remember as a kid, I could never, I never figured out how to get the Volcano Badge until I had to look it up or something. And I figured it out finally. But, um, I was stuck right here basically because I never got the Volcano Badge for the longest of time. And here's an Asperger Berry, cool. Um, yeah. So it's, yeah. So it's like, oh, you don't have the Volcano Badge yet. He's like, the guard is like, you don't have the Volcano Badge yet. Okay. It's like motivation to try to get it, you know. But yeah, I have it this time, of course. I've played this game like several times. You can only pass if you have the Volcano Badge. Oh, that's the Volcano Badge. Cool. P okay, then, uh, please go right ahead. Cool. And I think there's like an item over here. If you can check this rock. A forest store very worth picking up. And right here is a final gym badge check. The Earth Badge. You can pass it only if you have the Earth Badge. Oh, that's the Earth Badge. Yeah. 
Okay then, please go on, go right ahead. Cool. I heard a, that's a cry for a manky. Sometimes, like, if you listen to the track so long, and just, like, just listen to the track of the music going and just standing in place, you can hear Pokemon cries from Pokemon that appear. So yeah, here's a victory road. Let's take on part of it, actually. I'm only in 11 minutes of my recording and recording time. So yeah, maybe even less, because I had to, you know, I edit out the syncing part, because, uh, that's when I sync my left commentary and stuff at the beginning of the video. So yeah, we have Starman up front. I don't, I think the highest level Pokemon in this, um, for Victory Road is like level 45 as a wall Pokemon, wall type Pokemon, or wild Pokemon encounter. I could be wrong, so it might just, Repel's may or may not work here actually, because, uh, I have, um, a Pokemon that, uh, my highest level Pokemon is actually, um, Mimeon, but I, I think it can repel, I think Starman's been able to repel level 45 and under. I think, like, the Onyx is like level 45 as its max level that appears in this, uh, Victory Road, but I could be wrong. You know, we'll find out in a second, you know, if, you know, if Pell's off a certain Pokemon, or maybe high level, but, or just below the level of Starman. So yeah, you're gonna need strength with this too. So yeah, just make sure you have strength with you. Dang it! Okay, so that was a Machoke level 46. So I might want to switch over to Miming, because he's level 47. Yeah, Starman took a little bit of damage from there. I think it was like a, I forget what move he used. I think it was like a uh, Revenge or something. I don't know. Okay, I'm pretty sure it was revenge, honestly. So you want to push this boulder to the far right. And if you mess up, you can always just exit Victory Road, because that exit's right there. And then reset the boulder, if you mess up. So that's good, that's good to know. But I'm pretty sure, I, I remember, like, all the puzzles for this Victory Road. Um, I, I'm just doing this off of memory, so hopefully I do well <laughs> on remembering all these puzzles. Uh, so yeah, that, and the, that little barricade you saw right there is gone now. So that's what you have to do. And then the first trainer boss coming up, actually. I'm going to keep Miami at the front, though. Yeah, we can actually avoid it for right now, so I'll do that, actually. Because I actually managed to st uh, stay to the right side of that path instead of, you know, making her, making eye contact with on the left side of the path. So there's another full restore. Awesome. So, yeah. Um, my pro off. Okay. Dang it, I'm going to go with my Pokemon. Okay, so let's put another max of pill on. So... You can only choose one or the other, you have to actually, um, come back and exit, um, from the, um, the, um, you know, exit the different rooms of the Victory Road, there we go. This is team for, for Dragon Claw. Um, I don't think I want to teach the name of Pokemon, it's not in any of the final moves. That's the other, that item right there should be a rare candy, actually, if I do remember correctly. It's either that or the TM50 for overheat. But I'm thinking it's a rare candy, actually. So let's take on the sum. Uh, trainer, cool trainer. I, I'd recommend um you go in. There's a ladder to the far left of this room. Then going out to the exit again, because then you have to push the boulder back to um to the far right to get the barricade down again. So you have to like do that again, and it resets it. I'm pretty sure. So you don't want to do that. So let's just take on the cool trainer first, and then make our way to the left side of the room. So he has he has a she has a Persian level 42. That's pretty cool. Let's go for, let's use a Psychic on this thing. Yeah. You know, a smart thing would it, to do was I could have just, um, brought all my max ethers and stuff and everything, but I didn't, which kind of sucks. So I might do them, I might do that off screen. She's going to use a Hyper Potion, okay? So yeah, because like, oh man, I, I don't want to run out of PP during the Pokemon, or the, the um, Victor Road, you know? Because it's a better chance, I think, to uh, that I run out of PP in Victor Road than the Pokemon League. So, I should have got, like, all my Ethers and Max Ethers and Elixirs and all that out of my PC, finally. Because I haven't been using them the whole game, I've just been stashing them in my PC. You know? A uh, Vulpix. Okay, let's switch to, um, Starman, I guess. Starman's almost level 47, so that's pretty cool. A uh, Vulpix, nice. Let's use, um... I'm thinking a water pulse might be able to faint it, so, but I could be wrong. Since I'm at the beginning of the victory road, it's not like that much to backtrack and have to do. So I think I'll do get all those PP restoring items um, off screen and stuff. Or nine tails, nice. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely use a surf on this nine tails just to be safe, so it faints it and one hit. Hopefully, let's see. It's a fourteen female. Let's hope we can do our best with this. <laughs> Cool. Starman's level 47. Cool. Ponyta. 
stand, I guess. Let's go for another surf, I guess. And it goes down. That Ponyta should be a Rapidash if I'm not. If I don't say so myself, I'm pretty sure it should have evolved by now. Oh, speaking of which, a Rapidash. Nice. Let's do surf again. There we go. Nice. Go train no, no army. Okay, I lost out. Sorry, man. Sorry. Uh, miss, I guess. Thanks for $15.12, though. Okay, um... Who do I want to put up front? I'll put up, um... I'm thinking you start off the Blastoise, but I could be wrong, so I'm going to put Giant Green up front. Hoping my... You know, I'm pretty sure you have a Blastoise. I don't know if you send it out first, though. I can see you're good. Let's see, let me see exactly how good. Okay. And these are in Victor Road. There's a lot of tough trainers, so you want to be prepared. You know, they're really good, tough trainers. You know. Okay, right at level four too. Okay, let's try out a new move, Earthquake. Let's see, I'm hoping this can want to kill it, but again, it's not same type of attack bonus. So yeah. Okay, let's use another Earthquake after this then. Oh, let's eradicate. Okay, there's Giant Green. Yeah, okay. T it held it held on like a champ because the Quake Attack only did us that much, a little damage, honestly. So yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, Charmeleon. Oh, I want to try this out. Uh, having uh, Venusaur beat a Charmeleon. It's an Earthquake. Oh, let's get a Smoke Screen. Dang it. Dang it, you Smoke Screen. Nope, Earthquake missed. How could an Earthquake miss? Did I just not... Did, did, like, realistically, how does an Earthquake miss? Like, I mean... I guess it could miss... Dang it, you just keep on using Smoke Screen. I'm gonna have to switch out because, you know, Giant Green's accuracy is so bad right now. Because all your Smoke Screens. Okay, fine, you're ruining all my fun with trying to paint a Fire-type Pokemon with a Grass-type Pokemon. Jeez. Okay, fine, we'll go to... We'll go to... Airbender because Airbender's ability is Keen Eye and it won't be able to you can't lower its accuracy. Ha! Huh. Joke's on you. Joke's on you, bud. Let's go for the turn attack. Jesus, this is so annoying. And it should be a Charizard by now. If it was a Charizard, the Earthquake wouldn't be even affected because it's half flying type. Jeez. Oh, of course, you can use a Hyper Potion. You can use a Hyper Potion just because you know you're gonna lose. <laughs> Jeez. You idiot. Well, it's smart to keep you to stall, but still. There goes the wing attack. It's a critical hit. Awesome. Split the experience, but that's okay. Charizard, okay. We'll stay in with the Airbender. Let's go for the return. That's always tough. Cool, that's what I wanted. Okay. It's gonna scary face on us to lower Airbender's speed stat harshly. By two, I mean. As in harshly. Two stats. It's gonna flamethrower on us. Dang it. It's charged as three levels below Airbender, but still, flamethrower does a lot of damage. Yeah. Because, you know, Char Charizard has a good special attack. But the Charizard goes down. Cool. And Ivysaur. Okay, something I can actually just take this thing out on one hit hopefully let's use another alias on this thing of course of course you use sleep powder dang it of course you use it that's just come on <sighs> you know what i'm gonna use a four store on this thing because you're using high potion i'm gonna you know one up you by using four stories because i don't want to use the poker food so let's just kill it up and uh wake it up I guess you could say yeah we basically won't do as much now it won't be enough to faint it anyway unless it was a critical hit but it wasn't a critical hit let's give another airways oh my gosh you stupid Ivysaur come on you are being a jerk right now you know you're gonna lose so you're gonna stall and it's gonna make me mad okay let's see do you have any awakenings because I think yeah we should use some, some of these awakenings honestly because we I know we have the polka foot that we can use as many times as we want, but we should use some of these awakenings up. Sweet Sun, okay. Yeah, I don't care. Let's we'll just use Airways on you for once. Thank you. Hopefully we'll be able to use Airways on you. Jeez. Thank you. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. Nice. 
Take out the stupid dive so it's been paying my behind. And it goes down, finally. Okay, fine. There there we go. Airbender Girl level 4 6. Cool. War Turtle. Okay. We'll go to Trouble Cup for this one. Let's go for the Thunderbolt. Okay, fine. We're just another Thunderball on you to finish you off. I wish I could get three starters. I only got one from Professor Oak. Jeez. Cause you got a Charizard, you got a Charizard, a Chameleon, a Ivysaur, and a War Turtle. Jeez, you're lucky. <laughs> well, I think his name is Ronaldo. I had a chance. Yeah, you had a chance, but then you kept on stalling and just making me mad. Thanks for fifteen dollars and twelve cents, though. So I'm gonna do, and also you can't rematch any of these trainers and with a VS Seeker because it's in a cave, which kind of stinks. So if you want to, like, if you wanted to train for the Pokemon, then you can have easy training with all these tough trainers. That kind of stinks. You can only battle them once, sadly, unless you lose them. Okay, that was a Onyx level 46. I'm gonna switch over to Starman again, so I can repel Pokemon level level 46 and under. Jeez. So now we entered the um, room, the boulder here resets, so that's good. And we can get the rare candy, I believe. I believe it's a rare candy. If not, it's TM50 overheat, like I said. But I think overheat's actually later in the victory road. In fact, I'm like I'm 95% sure this is a rare candy. There we go, nice. Because I knew, yeah, I was thinking that rare candy, that overheat, the TM for overheat was later in victory road. So yeah. So here we are in the next room, but I'm in that part right here, off screen, I'm going to get all my max ethers and elixirs and all that good stuff from my PC just in case any of my Pokemon run out PP. I'm going to heal off screen again, and I'm going to meet you guys back here, I'm going to start at the next part right here in this room. So yeah, this has been John Go again, I'm looking to you goodbye, and I'll see you guys next part of my Pokemon Leaf Green Redo Walkthrough Guide.